everyone, Matt the Cat here, and welcome back to Undertale. When we last left off, we fought Asgore, then Flowey killed him. I got teleported into another dimension with two Eggmen, fought the worst nightmare, and then I was told to backtrack to Alpheus's lab. And in this episode, we're going to be doing just that, and I was going to do this off screen, but as soon as I got to this point, I started to get a phone call. So let's see what we got. Hey, uh, this is Undyne. Shut up, Papyrus. This was your idea. Human, you have to deliver. You have to deliver something for me. Uh, please? I'm at Snowden in front of Papyrus's. See ya, punk! Okay, I guess we're gonna go to Snowden then. I'm gonna... Actually, I'm gonna take the time to stock up on some items and cut back to the location. Be right back, everyone. I need you to deliver this letter to Dr. Alpheus. Huh? Why don't I do it myself? Um, well... It's kind of personal, but we're friends, so... I'll tell you. Hotland sucks! I don't want to have to go over there. So here you go. Oh yeah, you almost died there because you're a fish. <laughs> Understandable. Oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you. Thanks so much. You're the best. Okay, well, I'm never speaking to her again. <laughs> Take me to Hotland. Away! Alright, time to make like Paracarry and deliver a letter. This is for you. Well, of course they don't. Why can't we just slip it through the blast door? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's the point. It, it just read my mind. Uh, uh, oh, no, 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 no. Is that another letter? I don't want to open it. C can I just slide it back out? N no, I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um, it's kind of strongly, isn't it? Wait a second. Did the power went out? Hey, if this is a joke, it's... Oh my god. Did you write this letter? No. I think it was Undyne. It was signed, so I have no idea who could have. Oh my god, oh no. That's adorable. And I had no idea you uh, wrote that way. It's surprising, too. After all the gross stuff I did, I don't really deserve to be forgiven. Aww. Oh, you mean the part when you tried to help me out escape? Don't feel bad. This... And so passionately, too. You know what? Okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up for you. Yeah, let's go on a date. Wait, what? Oh, no, not another date. Here we go again. Uh, sorry, I'm still getting dressed. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> it looks fine, man. Anyway, let's do this thing. Dating start. Hey, wait! Actually, we still can't start the date yet. Dating stopped? Uh, I gotta give you item to raise an inf and affection statistics first. That'll increase the chance of a successful outcome to the date, right? Anyways, don't worry, I'm prepared. I've been stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a date like this. First, I've got some metal armor polish. Whoa. Uh, maybe you can't use that. But, I also brought some waterproof cream for your scales. Uh, I'm not a fish. Your, uh, scales. Wait, was this for Undyne? 
<laughs> this is for Undyne, isn't it? You got the wrong person. Hey, let's forget about the items. Let's just start the date. Daytain, start! Yeah, let's, uh, date. I think you got the wrong person. <laughs> this is awkward. Oh, boy. Swen with anticipation. Uh, do you like anime? Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> awkward start. The awkward start. Hey, let's go somewhere. But where's a good place to go on a date? I've got it. Let's go to the garbage dump. No. No. This. <laughs> what? Why? There's a toy bunny and a broken TV. And hey, there's the little troll dog right over there. <laughs> what is going on? This is where Undyne and I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. <laughs> She's really... Uh... Oh no. That's her over there. I can't let her see me on a date with you. Why? Because, uh, well... Oh no, here she comes! Oh my god. Hey, there you are! I, uh, realized if you delivered that thing, it might be a bad idea. Uh, too late, Chief. So I'm gonna do it. Give it to me! Huh? You don't have it? <laughs> have you at least seen her? No, I haven't. No? But she wasn't at home. Where the heck should keep could she be? Oh my god. Well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, uh, I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I'm sorry. I just figured, you know, it'd be fun to go on a, like, a cute kind of pretend date with you to make you feel better. No. Just no. Well, it sounds even worse when I put it like that. It sure did. I'm sorry, I messed up again. Undyne's the person I, uh, really want to go on a date with. But I mean, she's way out of my league. Not that you aren't, um, cool. Oh, it's fine. Think of me however you want. I'm not gonna complain. But Undyne, she's so confident and strong and funny. And I'm just a nobody. Me in high school with ya, buddy. A fraud. I'm the royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I've told her so many lies she thinks I'm... She thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll... She'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? I think you should face the consequences with your actions and tell her the truth. Because if there's one thing I learned from a VeggieTales episode, it's much easier to just spit out the truth than to get caught in a big lie. Trust me. But if I tell her that, she'll hate me. Isn't it better this way? To live a life where both people are happy? Nope, because they'll eventually find out. For a truth where neither of us are. To say be yourself. But I don't really like who myself is. I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. <laughs> no, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared what will happen if people learn the truth of their own. They'll all get hurt because of me. But how can I tell Undyne the t -t truth? I don't have the confidence. I'm going to mess it up. How can I practice? Hmm. <laughs> I only have two options. Let's roleplay it. Roleplay? 
That actually sounds kind of fun. Okay, which one of us will be undying? I'll do it. Because I'm a big, strong man. I'm not afraid for anyone to spit words at my face. Bring it on! Hi, Undyne. How are you doing? I'm fine. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Uh, so I'd like to, uh, talk to you about something. What is it? Uh, you see, I... I haven't been actually truthful with you. Y you see, I... I... Oh, forget it, Undyne. I want to tell you how I feel. You're so brave and strong and nice. You always listen to me when I talk about nerdy stuff. You always do your best to make me feel special. Like tell me that you've beat up anyone that gets in my way. Undy! Oh no, the tempo's rising. I can't take this any longer. I'm madly in love with you. Hold me, Undyne! Hold me! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> wow, just the right time. What did you just say? Uh, Undyne, I was just... Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Wait a second. Are you two on a date? Uh, yes. I mean, uh, no. I mean, we are, but I mean, actually, we were only romantically role-playing as you. What? I mean, I mean, I'm dying. I, I've been lying to you. What? About what? About, well, everything. I told you that- <laughs> Oh, goodness. <laughs> there she goes again, rambling. <laughs> Alpheus! I- I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted to think I was smart and cool. That I was- that I wasn't some nerdy loser. Alpheus. Undyne, I- I really think you're neat, okay? Alpheus. Shh. Shh. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh my goodness! Alpheus! I think you're neat too, I guess! But you gotta realize, most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching a kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate. You're analytical. It doesn't matter what it is, you care about it. 100% at max power. So, you don't have to lie to me. I don't want to have any... I don't want you to have to lie to anyone anymore. Alpheus, I want to help you become happy with who you are. And I know just the training you need to do that. <laughs> the garbage can. And I, you, you're gonna train me. <laughs> what, me? Oh, good lord, what's happening now? Nah, I'm gonna get Papyrus to do it. <laughs> get those bones shaking! It's time to jog 100 laps, hooting about how great we are. Ready? I'm about to start the timer. And I... I'll do my best. I'll do my best, Sonic. Oh my god! She was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics, those are still real, right? Anime's real, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I knew it! Gigantic swords, magical princesses, here I come! Uh, thanks for taking care of Alpheus. I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but... 
things seem like they're going to get better from her. Well, I gotta catch up with them. Later! Well, that was awkward. <laughs> Okay, let's just move on. I say we got a little bit of time. Let's just press on. <laughs> Definitely how bikes work. Uh, that's a computer. Yay, astronaut food. <laughs> Ugh. Claw marks. Oh boy. Howdy! If it isn't my good friend who trusts me, this is Papyrus, your also mutual friend. Alpheus and I finished our training early. Very early. So I sent her home. Very home. Uh, now... I feel strongly and for no apparent reason. You should also go there to her lab house. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. Why was he sweating? Okay, whatever you say. Uh... Alpheus, how did that training go? Uh, I forgot this place was a mess. It's a video feed from my location. There's a hole there. It's a note from Alpheus. Sure. It's hard to read because of the handwriting, but you try your best. Hey! Thanks for your help back there. You guys, you support really means a lot to me. But, as difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't magically make my own problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. And for that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear. This isn't anyone else's problem but mine. But if you don't ever hear from me again, if you want to know the truth, enter the door to the north of this note. You all have at least deserved to know what I did. Well, I guess there's no stopping now. Let's enter. Warning, warning, elevator losing power, EM Tethan stability lost, altitude dropping, no! Ah! Ooh, I don't think we survived that fall. But apparently we did, okay. Now we're stuck here. And it's shut. Well, we're stuck. This is it. This is what the king has asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. Oh yeah, these notes. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, the power cannot be re recreated artificially. Soul power can only be deser desired from what was once living. So to create more, we have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Being besides impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And unlike the presidential soul of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I could make a monster soul last. Ooh. I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to preserve after death. 
the will to keep living, the resolve to change fate. Let's call this power determination. Ooh. So this is how it got burnt. Elevator lost power, entered the center door. That's all you could read. Well, I guess we gotta open that door. But I'll do it in the next episode. Next time on Undertale, we are going to be escaping this creepy basement. That was all the time that I got for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this one. And I'll see you in the next video. Meow meow.